Hi everybody, Coach Jorge here, and I got my lovely wife Marty, and today we're going to be giving you a little tip about the Continental Grip, and a little game that I want you to try. If you have any issues at all, either teaching or learning the Continental Grip, I think what I have to show you today will be really helpful. It's helped a lot of my students. So it's a game called Chop Chop. And here's the deal. So when we first deal with the Continental Grip, Marty, we all know that that means that your index knuckle here and the pad of your hand align on bevel number two. So uh, we have an actual video of this, so we're just going to put up that image. So you see right there, bevel number two, that is when your, your index knuckle and your um, pad are aligned. And if you do that correctly, you'll see you end up with a trigger grip. Your, your uh, trigger finger here is higher than your thumb. So to this, I'm going to assume now that this is a person or a player that's not quite comfortable with the continental grip. So the first thing I'm going to do is just have them choke way up. I want to make the racket light for them. And then I'll, what I want you to do, Marty, just for, I know you know the continental grip, but you're going to be my student. What I want you to do is just hold the ball on the strings like this and just start sliding it back and forth. So if you just slide it, you can see that the ball is kind of skipping and it's kind of rolling on your strings like that, right? So here's the next part. I'm going to show you several little progressions here that's really helped my students get the idea of spin um, and the continental grip and, and they can actually start deploying it. So the next thing I want you to do, Marty, is just hit really short ups. Okay, those are just ups. But now part three is this, ups. And I'm going to put a little cut on it. So watch me. I'm actually cutting the ball a teeny bit, but I'm not going much higher than a foot. So go ahead and try it. Coaches, this is just a progression. By the way, let me show you the next thing you can do. After you have your student do this two or three times, let them hit the ground and they, sh they should see that the ball moves, okay? One, two, I'm just chopping on one direction. And if I let it hit the ground, you can see that ball takes off that way. That's a little test. Now, when I deal with little kids, I tell them that this is, I don't really say continental grip, all this stuff. So we just tell them thumb side, okay? This is the thumb side is up and this is the knuckle side. Thumb side would be kind of the forehand, knuckle side kind of the backhand. So now what I want them to do is flip it over on the other side and repeat the process. Just get a little bit of a, a cut here. Now you're gonna go up, remember knuckles are up. And now we're gonna try it a little bit of a cut. By the way, this is where a lot of people start to struggle. Notice I'm choked up, that's gonna make it easy. Let's do the test, Marty. Is my ball moving? Yep, it's going in that direction. So, so far we've gotten through the, the, the thumb side and the knuckle side, and now we're gonna do the chop-chop game. Sometimes we used to call this chop suey. So you're gonna choke up, and here's the goal, okay? You're going to hit back and forth, okay? So thumb, knuckle, thumb, knuckle, but there's a twist. Every time you're gonna put a little cut on the ball, this just went from easy to kind of advanced. So let me do it first. Cut, 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 and go ahead and try it. This is an excellent homework assignment. If I give this assignment, and by the way, shout out to my buddy, Coach, uh, Coach Butch Staples. He's the one that kind of uh, show me this initially and I've been doing it with great success with our little kids and more recently with our high school players and our adults Just getting them to understand what happens. Here's the deal. Here's why it's kind of important When you do this part in particular, you can see that your racket's actually going parallel with the ground But the ball's going perpendicular and that's something a lot of people just don't get whether it's spin on the serve They kind of hit and they feel like they got to go around the side and they don't realize if you watch the slow motion What really happens is the ball hits it travels along the strings and then goes up. There's none of this coming around the ball. It's just the ball going across your strings. So this is a nice little way to go through it. We call it Chop Chop. It's a really good little exercise. Hope you'll try it. And if you're watching this at some place where you can actually leave a comment, I'd love for you to leave a comment. See what you think about it. Did you try it? Was it easy? Was it hard? Did you try to teach it to someone? And if so, we'd love to do it. And if you really think it's helpful, go ahead and share it and we can help get the word out. Thanks again, Coach Jorge, Coach Marty. Hope that's helpful to you.